everyone and happy new year hopefully this is going to be a big year for common ground world i know there's a lot of people who have been waiting for daily earnings to make a return and according to a recent roadmap they shared in quarter two of 2024 daily challenges should be launching once that's ready there's going to be a challenge or multiple challenges every single day and if you happen to have reward nfts these are nfts that qualify for town points then you will be able to complete the challenge and collect town points which will be one of the ways that will determine how much of the new token you will receive the following day these reward nfts are older nfts that were launched in 2021 and 2022 if you're not sure which nfts i'm referring to you can check out the town star playbook there's a link in the description of the video check out the nft section and you'll be able to see which nfts qualify for town points those are going to be the reward nfts that will enable you to participate in daily earnings once that makes a return and hopefully it should finally make a return later in 2024 i think it's an important thing that needs to happen because it's going to bring back some people who are only interested in the daily earnings and not the competitions and it should also be appealing to other people and bring in more players to the game now competitions are still going to be the main way to participate in earnings for this game as competitions will have the biggest rewards and to start up the new year we do have the first competition starting on january 2nd 2024 and that's going to feature the boom canes meta as you can see i have a build showcase for boom canes to help you out with this competition but first we're going to go over the details for the competition and moving forward the way it's going to work is i'll make a video that shows off the details for the competition first and then shows off the build showcase instead of making two separate videos about it so real quick galley games discord common ground world announcements channel we have farmer michelle who has posted the information competition starts on january 2nd 2024 and lasts for three days meta is boom canes it's been over a year since we've made boom canes in the competition the biome is going to be a forest and the biome edges is there's going to be a river on the north and west sides and there's going to be an ocean on the south side they also provided us with a picture right here so this is going to be what the starting biome looks like as you can see we'll also be getting two windmills and three salt fields although only one is next to the ocean which has the fastest craft timer but you're basically going to have everything to immediately get you started with crafting salt which is going to be beneficial because salt is is also cash boosted for this competition so of course boom canes 100,000 stars each since that is the meta salt is going to be cash boosted to 6,750 making it a viable choice if you want to sell salt for all the cash you'll need to come up with your boom canes design now the trade time for this is 40 seconds and each trade will cost one gasoline so that's not bad it's a pretty good time and it's a good thing that it's only one gasoline so it shouldn't be too hard to get all the gasoline you need to make this and and it also explains how to craft some of these items so most importantly boom canes it's going to require five magic powder one mystic matter and one candy canes that has been recently changed in case you weren't aware it's crafted in the north pole creation lab and stored in the warehouse and it also explains magic powder requires one pumpkin three brine three strawberries made in the master wizard stored in the warehouse mystic matter requires one glue one cotton yarn and one limestone that's crafted in the wizard's workshop and stored in the warehouse the reward structure is a standard gala rewards and gala does provide a picture for you but i always like to show it off on the town star playbook link in the description of the video and over here in the competition list page i have all the competitions and i also like to put down the recent price of gala and that'll give you a better idea of the usd equivalent value to the amount of gala you will receive so top 1200 placements in the leaderboard will receive gala of course the better you place the more gala you'll receive some of these competitions will also offer an nft reward but this competition in particular does not have an nft reward attached to it with all of that out of the way i'm ready to show you the boom canes build showcase so i think this one is doing very good it's doing 45 boom canes per hour i do believe that's competitive i'm going to scroll through the production monitor just so you can see the production rate of everything the only one i'll talk about is lumber it is over 
producing lumber. The lumber yards are basically always full of lumber. And I think that's good because it makes it easy to balance everything that needs to use lumber. There are quite a couple products that use lumber here, such as honeycomb, honey, cotton yarn, and limestone. And if you're overproducing lumber, then you really aren't going to have an issue basically making all the items that use lumber, right? So it keeps it nice and balanced. The other one I guess I'll mention is gasoline. I have, I'm actually making more crude oil than what I need to make, which leads to basically having gasoline all the time. You don't actually need to make that much crude oil with how balanced this is. I could have probably removed two oil pumps and it still would have worked. Those are the only two things I'll mention. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Some items are of course overproducing just a bit, but that's fine. It still works out. This build utilizes two nukes and a lot of expensive buildings. So it's going to take a lot of cash in order to actually finish building this and the wages are going to be high. Thankfully, once you have this all up and running, you will be selling enough boom canes in order to get all of the cash you need to pay the wages. I'm going to go over all the buildings. So there's 20 tree farms, 11 pumpkin patches, two cotton fields, seven strawberry fields. The strawberry fields don't care about the shade, eight peppermint fields. These also don't care about the shade, five sugarcane fields. There are nine salt fields. Six of them are right next to the ocean. So they'll have three passive salty, which means they'll craft brine at the fastest craft timer. These other three salt fields only have two passive salty, so they will still craft brine. They just won't craft it as fast as they could have. And there's three clay fields for the clay lump. There's a total of 14 windmills, all crafting sugar on the slowest craft timer because they're all affected by shade. There are three candy shops crafting candy canes. I made sure they're in locations where they will have at least five passive energy. So you won't have to craft any energy for anything in this build. There are four lumber mills. They are kind of scattered around in this design and they are all making lumber. There are two water facilities over here making water drums and there are three shallow mines making limestone. There are six beehives. Four of them are making honeycombs and two of them are making honey and there are 10 clover fields. Two nuclear power which provides passive energy to a lot of buildings without casting any dirty on them. This is important for the six pottery shops I am using because they all have passive energy and water drums and since they don't have any dirty being casted on them then they are able to craft ceramic bowls on the fastest craft timer. Now you probably could get away with just one nuclear power but this design is intended to work with two nuclear power as you want the additional energy right here for the candy shops that way you won't have to craft and manually provide any energy that is missing from these candy shops right here. There's two fabric plants making cotton yarn, four wizards workshops, three of them are making mystic matter, one is making glue, five master wizards making magic powder, and two north pole creation labs making boom canes. For the workers there are a total of nine loggers in the town, there are nine tractors, loggers and the tractors are kind of all around the place, there are five beekeeper houses, there is one forklift, and there is one empty spot right here which you could use for a build house or you could use for anything else you would like to use it for. There are three warehouses, two storehouses, three silos. This one's primarily for the brine. This one's primarily for pumpkin, cotton, and strawberries. And this one's primarily for peppermint and sugar cane. There is a pantry for both the honey and honeycomb. There are two lumber yards, which helps distribute the lumber to whatever building is closer to it. And then there is, of course, the fuel storage for the gasoline. Here's the passive gasoline setup with two water pumps, two power plants, a refinery in between them making gasoline and the refinery to the side making petroleum. There is no oil seep so we have to craft crude oil using these five oil pumps which is more than enough. I'm sure you could get by with three like I mentioned earlier and two trade depot are being used. Now you could get by with one at the very end with how balanced it is but I just ended up placing two of them right there just in case you needed to sell multiple items at the same time just to make sure none of the storages end up getting jammed up with anything. Here's what the auto trade looks like. You can basically have everything at an auto trade amount of 
12 except boom canes of course you want to set that to 10 so you can sell those right away here's what the build looks like on the visualizer total cost is 50 million but that doesn't include the cost of clearing the forest as well as building the steel mill in order to get the steel needed for the nuclear power wages are 42,410 per minute but you will have no issue with the wages so long as you're making at least 30 boom canes per hour of course remember this design can do 45 boom canes per hour you can find the file for this visualizer on my discord server and an invite link to the discord is in the description of the video no nfts are required in order to reach this production rate however having a full set of enchanted fireworks will reduce the craft time of wizards workshops by 50 percent i have accounted for that and you should still have no issue with the amount of wizards workshops being used in this design if you happen to need another wizards workshop simply replace one of the beekeeper houses with a wizards workshop making mystic matter and you should be all set well that's it for the build showcase now you're probably wondering how you're going to come up with all the cash needed to finish this design or your own design and remember salt is cash boosted and you even have a starting town that helps you immediately start making salt but the best way to go about it would probably be to do gold rush i always recommend gold rush in a lot of different scenarios because you can make a lot of cash doing that now you could also make salt on the side but the reason you can't really scale up salt production that much is is because you preferably want windmills on a green craft timer that way you can make salt fast enough that means you need to make sure you don't have any buildings close to those windmills casting shade on them and slowing them down so yeah you could sell some salt but i still recommend you go with a full gold rush and do that until you can collect all the cash that you need to finish the, your design from there on you'll be making a good amount of boom canes to keep the entire design cash positive i think that's the best way to go about it even if it takes all day trying to come up with the cash you need to finish the design it's still going to be worth it you're going to have a competitive rate and do good in the competition even if you don't have any nfts to help you out with that i hope this build showcase is able to help you out consider leaving a like feel free to leave a comment make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my content check out the links in the description of the video on how to support the channel and as always i appreciate the support happy new year and thank you for watching